Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to LA Girl Garden and Up. I am your man up. Today we're gonna be trying to draft um this bear, this Persian bear line onto one of these flying dragon rootstocks. So as you see in one of my other videos that I made, I bought some flying dragon rootstocks. Which is um, once you um, they consider a a, um, a dwarf rootstock because they only get like eight to ten feet tall, so they consider a dwarf rootstock. So we're gonna try and try and do a piece of this uh, Persian bear line, like I said, onto the rootstock of this flying dragon that I bought uh, day for yesterday. So first we had to find one that's like the right size. I'm trying to find one of the right size. It's around about this size right here. Around about the same size as, as this, this diameter right there. And then we're gonna uh cut some of the leaves off. And from most of what I've seen, the videos I've seen, you got to well, it's good to have at least like three nodes. What's called a node is where the leaf comes out of. So have at least three nodes past that. And the, the um, most, most, supposed to have like, uh, cut to like three inches. Most say cut to like three inches, have the most success. If you make it like three inches long. So out of these ones here, I think I found the one I'm gonna use. I might use that one. This one right here. This is actually four in this bucket. It's actually five. So I think, I think, I think I'm going to use this one. Let me move these other ones so you can, so they won't be in my way. Uh, let's lay that down for a minute. So when I'm wrapping it, it won't be in my way. I'll move the other ones. I'm going to put it on my garlic. I mean, my, uh, I got my, my, uh, ginger down there going. So we're going to move some of these out of the way until, until I get my, uh, Thing right, so I can move it around a little more. Oh, I gotta set that over there. Okay, but well, here's a cutting that I did last year. This is a cutting of a rose bush. There's a couple of grass in there. It's a cutting of a rose bush. I did a rose bush cutting, and it's starting to. Come right along. I think that was the um, the white rose bush. But we come a little bit closer. Here we, we got this root start right here. We're going to put this on to that. Okay. Now, here we go. We got our clippers here that we already sterilized. With some alcohol. Just gotta put a little alcohol on. I already sterilized a knife. Let me put a little alcohol on and sterilize it. Didn't sterilize it. We also have our drafting knife. Drafting knife. I have, uh, well, I have actually I bought a little kit off of Amazon about two years ago. With the little grafting tape, you got the um, you got the little screwdriver kind of with it. You got the little clippers. So this kit here, it uh, well, this thing here is supposed this thing here is supposed to do everything for you. So you will have to use your you're supposed to be able to cut it. You supposed to use these to cut it at an angle, at a triangle. Then you go ahead to cut that as a triangle. But this to me it works, but it don't. Well, I can say it works, works, but to, for me, uh, it don't work that good. Cause to me, it's it's like it don't have enough. 
it don't give you enough of a cut. You know what I'm saying? It don't give you enough of a V cut. It maybe give you a little small cut like that. But I'm a, I want a longer cut. So <clears throat> but we got our knife here, so we're gonna we're gonna cut about three inches, three and a half inches off of that. Okay. That's our three inches. Just gonna pull the leaves off. <clears throat> Get the leaves off. We don't need the leaves. Don't need the leaves. Just gonna take them off. And that what you left with. Probably gonna cut these little thorns off too, because it got some it got thorns on it. I'm gonna cut them thorns off. Get them out of the way. Them out of the way. Okay, so that's what we got. It's maybe like three inches, three inches long. So we're gonna cut this into a V with our knife here. So we're just gonna slice and dice and dice and slice, slice and dice. Get your nice V. A nice V cut. Gonna try to make it as flat as possible. Don't cut too much off that side right there. Like I said, this, this my A my first time trying it. But you want a V. You want one that's pretty pretty straight. It's not flat. V. I might need to do a little more on this side. I think I could need some of that camera layer on there to match up with the other camera layer. It's a little, a little V. As you can see it, probably see it better that way. So, next step is to cut this. Is to cut this. So here we go, y'all. Here we go. We're going to cut it about we can cut about right here. There we go. That's the bitter orange part that we no longer need. I might try and root this. I might try and root it to Make another root stop. I might try and reroute that. Okay, so we got that cut. Next time we do, we gotta cut this. Okay, I'm trying to cut this. That's the hard part. Right here, you gotta try to cut it. Just take your knife and rock it back and forth. Try not to cut your hand. Okay, I need to get a better, better hold on the situation. Let's see. So small, you gotta just keep rocking, keep rocking. Oh, there we go. Let's keep rocking. You got a little cut that time. Okay. So as you can see, we got our V right there. <laughs> So I can zoom in. Can't zoom in. There we got our V right there. As you can see, I got a little V. Let me slice it down the middle right there. So from then, from there, just mess this camera layer up. Should we put it? We're gonna do this side. Just like that. Can y'all see that? Let's see. Can we get you a little bit closer? Right there. As y'all can see, right there. Just what you want. 
Them two cameo layers on the other one touching, and there's one that's one touching. Like I'll use my knife so I can show you. Yes, you can see. See how those two cameo layers touching right there and right there. That's what you want. Both sides don't have to be touching. As long as you got one side that's touching good, and you're good to go. Now, like I was saying, with the other thing, with the other clippers, with these clippers here, I didn't get them up. So I would not, I, well, you could, I mean, it's, it's, it ain't bad, but it don't make that deep V like that. It makes a smaller V. So you wanna you wanna much cam in layers you can to get the touch to make sure it's gonna work. So that's why I like to use the knife. Use the old fashioned way. Then you take your tape and wrap it. Wrap it around. Trying to pull it tight. So, you just keep wrapping all the way up to the top. Get another piece of tape. And you're good. In the summertime, though, it's like, uh, it's like, it's fall now. But in the summertime, you do it. And maybe put a bag over it, too. Help keep the moisture in. But for the most part, just keep wrapping it. All the way to the top. So once, if it start budding out, it would break through the tape. So you don't have to worry about that. The tape is just to keep it from drying out. Pull it right there. Ew. Tie it off. Well, guess you don't want to be tied up, huh? Ugh. Tie it off and good to go. Now it's just a waiting game. You see what happened from there. So like and subscribe. Wish me luck. And we'll see what happens.